so my challenge for this trip is going to be trying to get as far back as I can into the wilderness along the San Gabriel River um, and find a spot and pitch my tent before nightfall. Um, I like to hurry up, find a spot, and have some daylight left. It's kind of a pain to set up when it's dark. Mind you, there is bear and mountain lion out here. So it's another reason I'd like to hurry up, get set up. I'm trying to find a safe spot to cross. With all the recent rainfall, it's uh, flowing a lot faster than the last time I was here. Okay, we got a string right here. Huh. Boy, that looks deep. I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but it's pretty deep. All right, sometimes you just gotta walk through it. I'm not gonna go through where that string is. Only about it up to my knees. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Well, I'm definitely going to get wet on this trail, especially after some rainfall. Hello? It looks like... Wow. That's some nice rope. Someone just left behind. I see a bucket. I don't know if they're... Uh, one of the gold prospector guys. He had to maybe leave in a hurry or what? I don't know. I just want to make sure that wasn't a body in that uh, hammock. But you know, some shoes there. I'm about, where am I? 3.4 miles in from the trailhead. Well, not sure what to make of that but uh, looks like whoever was there left in a hurry all right i found my spot there's just a nice clearing for a tent it looks like somebody set up here before um, and it's just kind of like sandy not a lot of rocks or anything in this spot um, so yeah, I got just hardly any daylight left, but I think I'll be all right. Just behind you is the, uh, the creek, the San Gabriel River. And, uh, I'll show you more of that in the morning because it's getting pretty dark. It's kind of hard for video as far as that. So don't go away. Some of the most beautiful shots are going to be coming in the morning.
Well, while I'm waiting for this to cook, I could. <clears throat> my camp, my tent's a little disheveled now. Yeah. That's where I slept. I have my pants, and my socks laid out, still drying from walking through the creek. But that's about it. That's all I got. I only got some gear in here too. In a trash bag. Haul out trash. But uh, yeah. And the creek's just right there. Let me back up. I have no uh, socks on and I got a little thermals honestly it's the GoPro that's making my legs look like chicken legs okay because my pants are drying all right you guys want to see how this looks I don't know if you can see that it looks pretty good done with my breakfast it's like it's time to pack up all cleaned up looks like I hit the trail again that that water is ice cold boy well that woke me up trip seeing the roadway this far back I'm still probably about I'm guessing about three miles from the trailhead maybe close to four probably about three and a half miles and uh, you can still see remnants of the road that once was here leading to the bridge to nowhere and that uh, flood way back in the day washed it away little reminders of what once stood That way is the, uh, this is Allison Gulch. I need to make my way down and across. I think that's a good area to cross over there. I mean, it kind of widens out, but when it widens out, it shallows out. It's, it's so wide, it's shallowed out.
Well, this was a pretty fun adventure. Seems like there's just a lot more to explore in the area. So I think I could uh, come back here quite a few times.